I'll just talk about us in 2019. That's uh, something we started working on in the spring. And, and every offense is different, but uh, Ryan's done a good job, and, and, and those opportunities have come up and, and taken advantage of. Can it be hard to go away from <coughs> two, two weeks ago, the AJ and Corey had season highs in targets and reception. Then, then you get to this week, and it's a team that gives up a lot to tight ends, and so you formulate sure. stuff that goes to tight ends. Yeah. Is it hard at all to go away from the receivers when you say, hey, we could get something going with these it, guys? A lot of it's a flow of the game. I mean, the, the second play of the game was, was going to Corey. And, you know, the bear comes off, and there was a little consternation there. But that, you know, you're, that's not like, hey, this is – we. there are certain weeks you like the matchups, and we thought uh, – and, and knew and, and Firk did a nice job last, last week taking advantage of it. So you're going to come back to it and you, you're, you're seeing how they're adjusting to it. And, and we got guys we'd like to move around. And AJ's got good versatility and so is Corey. But the kind of the way the game flowed, you know, you, you, you plan to go this way and then maybe the coverage dictates it or you go away from it. And then all of a sudden things start opening up and, and knew had a really good game and, and Firk made some plays. And so we, we liked the advantage and it paid off as we moved down the field. Is part of your job maybe not person, may, maybe managing personalities or expectations for guys in the room? I mean, obviously everybody wants the ball. How, how do you work through that part of it or is that even a part of the job? Oh, they're, they're, it's, it's all part of it. I mean, you want, you, you hopefully have the right guys and they understand week to week and we don't, you know, you know, some offenses, you know, this guy's going to get 15 targets a week. And, and if, if, if somebody is that, has the hot hand or they, you know, they're giving us that, we'll certainly do that if that was the case. But you, you try to make sure you, you're working the right matchups and what, you're, what you think you'll face in those personnel groups and what their coverage dictates. But uh, we got the right guys in our mindset. And, 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 every, and the same thing in my mindset is, can we get better every week? You go back and, and look at it. All right, yeah, I wish I hadn't done this. Okay, this worked. What can we do? You know, so just the constant. I think you're you're trying to preach pre the same message to the players, and sure, I mean, you, you know, you we all live in that now, you know, the moment now, and it's like, oh, you know, didn't do this on Sunday. When you go back to last Sunday, you did, and then you go, all right, what went wrong? What can we do better? And then try to take another step this week. Any of the challenge of, of, of maybe playing center when you really haven't done much of it, you know, at all during the season? Well, I mean, that's that's life. Uh, you know, the offensive linemen in the NFL, we, we don't have three deep, and you got guys that are hybrid guys, and we feel good about those swing guys. But, yeah, that's, that's tough. I mean, if guy goes down the second play of the game, you try to work those contingencies, and hopefully you have enough reps in, in the preseason and, and as you're working the, each week and going through contingency plans. But, yeah, you really only get seven guys on game day, so the guys have to have a lot of versatility that are up for you. I guess is that, is that particular role a, a, a difficult one if you don't get a whole lot of reps doing it just because of what a center has to do? It just takes us the the right guy to have to do it, you know. Uh, Schwinky did that role for us for a few years, and, and you got guys that can go inside and play play either both guards or center. Uh, Jamil's done a great job this year in a pinch. He started games. He's had to come in there and pinch, and uh, get a lot of credit to Jamil. Does Khalif give you something a little bit different, and is he a guy maybe you could take advantage of in certain packages or situations? Yeah, Khalif did a nice job with the opportunity given to him last week, but he's done a good job since he's been here. And did a nice job in the spring and the preseason, and, and he kept just trying to get better. And that's it's a, the same mindset you want these guys to have. Like there's not a scholarship given, and it's like, oh, here's your 53, here's your 10, here it is. I mean, those guys are working, and, and uh, Braves does a good job of setting that. It, it's competitive at practice, and guys buy in, and they try to improve. And so Khalif got an opportunity and uh, did a nice job with it. How difficult is it to scheme against a guy like Keith Lee, who seems to know not only what your formations are, but your checks and all that? Sure. Better? It's it's a great uh, chess match. He's a he's a great player, and uh, it, it's a it's an awesome challenge. And that's the fun part each week is you go in there and, and no different than last week. Tampa had a unique challenge. Todd Bowles is a is a heck of a defensive coordinator, and go, we've gone against him a few times. And and uh, so the, the, and, and the players obviously out there they got good players, good rushers. And but Keekley is a, a really really good linebacker, and so we've got a work cut out for us. That word uh, decisive uh, you mentioned earlier comes up a lot with with Ryan. Uh, to you is that processing quicker or is it throwing the ball quicker is it a combination of things it's, it, it's it's a lot of things and, and again ryan ryan's been around the block he's a he's a veteran player and uh and it helps i mean you know some of the guys he's thrown to he got a lot of work with it's just the way the way the way the preseason went and uh but like i said week to week and we're just trying to take it now and we take another step but uh but it's a lot of things you know it's it's Again, where the matchups are, how they're playing us in certain things, and guys get a ball early and they get going, and now he feels in the flow of the game. So I, I guess, are you seeing things happen quicker? Uh, he's done a nice job. He's done a nice job. It's evolved. You know, 
And each quarterback that gets in there, you may call things differently and, and see how the flow of the game goes. But he's done a nice job. Derek's getting hit early, often. I know there are some obvious answers to that. What's right. maybe less obvious that goes into correct? Yeah, you know, a lot of times, too, it, it, depending on the scheme you're running in the run game, you, you don't want negative runs. I mean, that's as obvious. Anybody could sit here and say that. Um, it, it, and a lot of times it's little things, and it may not be – it may be something on the backside that happened that, you know, you, you, you try to correct and, and, and fix. And it's – it's again, it's not all, all one guy. And then the good thing about what Derek did is, that, you know, there were some things that – and we got to get better. We, we, we got to improve not having negative runs. But he did get on the free safety three times. And that, that's a really good run defense. We knew the matchups in that. And we just, again, try to improve. But there's a lot of times schematically if something may happen on the backside, a guy spikes across. In, or even the front side, the guy gets jammed up or something, and, and it can it can blow up a play. So all eleven need to be better in the run game. It just doesn't fall on Derek. Those three times include the penalty one, or no? You had you had the, 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 the crack toss that happened, which was set up off the first play of the game. Then you come back and you had the one that he broke backed up. Almost thought we were going to see ninety nine again. And then he had the one, unfortunately, that he fumbled. And uh, so again, it was getting through those guys. Those guys, it is a good front. Hard. Those guys were hard to move, and the line did a nice job. And, you know, you want to keep chipping away. What you want to eliminate is you don't want to be second and 12, and, you know, and then incomplete, and you're third and 12. We've been in too many of those, and we're working week to week to make sure we, we stay out of those situations.